Have you and your girlfriend been fighting about the fall of Byzantium recently? Is it causing relationship problems? I'm joking. You don't have a girlfriend, do you? Or maybe you're Greek. Well, regardless, today we'll be showing a world in which Byzantium did not fall. But not only that, Byzantium is on its way to recapture Rome, retake the entirety of Italy, and make it an integral part of the empire. Today's video is sponsored by you guys because you left a like on the previous video we even almost reached 9,000 likes and that is the reason why we have this video today so give yourself a clap guys give yourself a clap question now is can we get 6,900 likes for the final part of the Byzantine saga the situation we have right now is not really amazing but it's not really that bad either we have a strong foothold on the North African parts a great foothold on the Anatolian and the Iraq parts as well as pretty much all of the Balkans but our main focus today is gonna be to take over the rest of Italy as well as the rest of North Africa not only that but I will be showing some really pro gamer moves that you guys are definitely gonna enjoy and which will make your girlfriends very happy <laughs> that joke again that joke our armies have arrived by the border with Tuscany we're gonna declare our war and we're gonna call in the Austrians because having the Austrians in this war means that they cannot join on the side of Savoy once we attack Savoy the should be a fairly easy war because the French are well the French so we do expect the white flag anytime hey white flag joke everybody but in all seriousness though it shouldn't be that hard of a war since we're gonna basically piece the French out fast maybe take a few provinces in the south so we can release and feed back to lose its cores later on oh what are you guys trying to do you trying to run away from me and merge with the French armies cannot let that happen eine Stacken Weipen zwei Stacken Weipen coming right up here well, this is not a stack wipe because they actually managed to reinforce that, but it's close to... Oh, actually, it was a stack wipe. Holy schnitz. Now, this year, I'm just going to barrage it so I can siege it down fast. We want to take all of the Italian parts so we can uh, focus on the French afterwards. Since one month has passed, I'm going to be attacking the nation of Mushasha as well. Let's go. Should be a fairly easy war here. We're going to be uh, taking the south parts here of uh, Iraq that we definitely need to form the Roman Empire. We seem to have these guys flagged but no issue because we have our own province in Lucca that we can uh, set them back to. Oh, hello there, French people trying to disembark in Corsica. How about you don't? What kind of ships are these? Oh, boy. Now, nah, that was an easy fight for us. Go back in there and let's continue to siege everything around here. The French are trying to reinforce. Oh, no. The big battle. French Mosquetia against Chad Roman. Whoever is going to win this? Oh, God. It is the Chad Roman. Who would have thought? There you go. Even more dead Frenchmen. And let's kill even more Frenchmen. Hot diggity dog. Open season on the French squads over here. Eine Stacken Weipen. Ja. Let's go back here. We want to siege down Avignon and this is pretty much finished I'm gonna let the Austrian siege the rest of this for me whilst I focus with the rest of my armies on the uh, French nation sadly we cannot release Naples since they changed the primary culture of Naples and returning this would give it back to Spain I did think of a very big brain move and that is I'm gonna cancel the course of Spain on Cosenza so when I return this it's gonna go back to Naples that means I need to have one more war with the Spanish in the meanwhile to do that so that is gonna be on the table very shortly after these couple of wars are finished let's see how everything is going on this side we seem to be winning obviously because i'm a tiger blood what a chad sieging down this fort with way too many troops and without any general <laughs> uh, don't do this at home kids don't do this at home this is a manpower dead house i mean i'm really just because i have a lot of manpower and i can but if you want to do it don't do it unless you have the proper amount of cannons and a good general barrage this one too and let's return to the french front i love me two front wars because it means i can go around the map scrolling every five seconds i got two more barrages and these should fall fairly soon oh Oh no, the Papal state has been destroyed. And we also siege down Avignon, so we can probably actually piece out the Papal state. Nope, we still need to take Rome. We haven't taken it yet, and we want to take it. One event gave us minus on the treasury. Don't worry about that too much. We're gonna take a loan in a few moments now. There you go. Our first loan in a while, boys. I don't know why there's so many Scotsmen in this Roman Empire, but hey, who am I to question these things, right? Go continue our sieges experience. And we can send these guys over 
over to the province of Nabonne. Who else is in this? Kote. Kote is around here, right? Oh, it's in the south of, uh, wow. Uh, yeah, there's no way I can actually reach this. It's all good. We're just gonna carpet siege the nation of Mushesha, and that should give us all the war score we need to piece them out. All right, we can piece out the PayPal states, and we're gonna go for pillaging their capital, of course, so we can, uh, lower the development in Rome, as well as uh, a few other things, including canceling of treaties. I'm literally just doing this so I can weaken them a little bit. I will be attacking them directly once the truce is over and pretty much annex all of these parts here, but they did have a lot of dev here, so definitely help me out a bit to take that dev. We can piece out Bia Pass as well, all is a cash, and actually we're just gonna go for canceling of rivalries and all of this jazz here so we get a little bit of uh, extra prestige since we are pretty far below with our prestige because of recent events. That means we can peace out Mushasha, and that means we can also send these troops over to the Egyptian front as we will be attacking the Mamluk again. This seems fairly okay. Nobody would join in this coalition. And that is the end of this war. Booyah. Oh my god. 14 development here. Amazing. Let's do this. And we cannot core any of these lands, sadly. We are going to give them to our vassal, namely the nation of Iraq. Oh, actually, Savoy is a part of the empire. So I cannot declare on them because I'm in a war with the Emperor on my side. Woof. That means I do have to fight the Austrians to get the Savoy land. Not a big deal. They literally have almost no troops left and is an easy kill. Interesting how the Greek culture is slowly replacing other cultures. This reminds me of something. Do we have any Australian people in the chat? In any case, we're going to be attacking the Amamaleks because we just finished our truce with them and we really want to take all of their shit. And of the day this is what it's all about taking everybody's shit from them oh god this general is not really the best i was hoping for a siege peep but it's okay no siege peep i guess barrage all of these boys and return to our amazing french wear let's do this you know what let's fight against all odds and whilst we're crossing a river here let's do a big dum dum move let's see what happens are we gonna win are we gonna lose we got more discipline same morale less troops my money is on the french army yeah no it's on my army it's on my army i said my army the first time all right let's see who wins this and the winner is my army i knew it i knew i was gonna win this let's wait for these guys to uh engage here movement locked that means they cannot run away from our troops and we can also do uh, this a uh, noise now we are semi up to tech with our diplotech oh no did we actually get some extra reinforcements nice even more war score for the war score gods after we take this we should be able to enforce on these guys let's Let's see how it's going over in uh, the Memeluk land. Yeah, I'm gonna want all of this from you guys so I can do my missions and stuff. But until that point, it's a CGO time. Paris was sieged. What? They took back Paris. This is unacceptable. And in 60 days, you guys surrendered faster than I was expecting you to. Of course, another event giving us minus 800 ducats because why not? Hey, Cotton fell very fast as well. So I guess it's equal. Let's go to Finisterre. And once we have Finisterre and uh, Paris, Paris, we should be okay with uh, this war. Sadly enough, they're getting most of their war score from sieging down my uh, good friend here, <laughs> the Austrians. The time has come to peace out the French. We can take all that we want to take, and we also can get the humiliation, which is good, because we need to keep our PP at 100%. That being said, we're gonna focus our troops back in here, and we also gotta finish off the uh, Mameluk Wars. I cannot fully annex Tuscany in one go, because, well, they're too big, but I am cancelling their friends. French alliance in the hopes that the uh, Venetians are going to eat them up and then I can just eat up the Venetians afterwards, essentially. We're going to concentrate dev in all of these that we can concentrate development and we're going to core them up afterwards. Let's go. Making the coring a lot cheaper by concentrating. Because of the overextension, I'm going to piece them out. I'm not going to take as much as I initially wanted to take. So uh, this is going to help me out because now I can give the lands to Iraq, namely these lands here, Grand Province, this one, one more and another one here with the last one of course being basra after we've unseized it so let's bring our troops actually back home let's send these guys over here as well we also can do our mission now because we've recovered alexandria gaining 10 more patriarchal authority now what we need to do is recover rome to do the pentarchy for the end of the game bonuses and the event we have to also secure the south of italy however to get the eternal city so that's going to take a little bit of time Concentrate dev all around here too, wherever we can. Booyah. And here we can core these up. Well, well, well.
well, Tunis. It looks like you don't have any allies and our truce is over. Would be a shame if somebody would uh, declare on you. Oh no, what did I do? I pressed the button. All right, well, we're going to obviously take all of this stuff here and afterwards expand in that area. At the same time, we are going to continue our expansion into Italy. Oh, hold up a second. Mamluk rebels? What? These guys are probably just going to go on to the other Mamluk land, so we'll be fine. We literally have secured all the eastern parts of the empire. We don't need anything else. Maybe just clean up the Mamluk mess and that's about it. But we do need a lot of stuff in the west and we are definitely going to go for that. Kill off these Tunisians first. Can't have any Tunisians running around wild, can we? You know what? We're going to take this province so we can integrate the nation of Eretna faster. I actually like that event. I don't mind that event sometimes. Tunis raided us. How, how rude of you, Tunis. Why would you do this to me? Dear Lord, how aggressive this nation is, right, guys? Let's go kill off their fleet with our fleet. And let's attack Milano. You know why I'm attacking Milano? Because I can also reset my truce with the PayPal state. So let's go for that. Go for all of these juicy forts here and everywhere around there. Come on, Savoy. Give me military access. Give it me. There you go. We got the access. Now we can go with the rest of the army into Mantova. Or actually, we can wipe out the uh, PayPal states. Oh, no. Looks like the PayPal army is heading straight towards my armies here. And that is not good for them. Not good at all because I'm going to chase them down and wipe them out. You can get the icon of St. Michael again and we can now cancel this military axis. The Numidian tribes are reintegrated into the empire, bringing peace to the North African side of the world. Concentratio complicatio, of course, everywhere here to make it a free land, of course. And... We're gonna peace out the Pope now. After we finish uh, sieging all of this stuff here, we pretty much have the war score that we want. I don't want to have a super long truce with the Pope, so I'm actually just gonna go for some cash and maybe cancel an alliance or two. There you go, everything is siege, cashio, and alliance with Venice is everything I really want. Booyah! Now oh, it's all perfect. Go back here so we can continue the siege of Milan and chase down their army as well, whatever is left of it anyway. Three leagues, Aachen and Salzburg are in this too, so I have to take them out also oh come on seriously 92 percent please fall please just do it for papa do it for me there you go it fell amazing now we can finally piece these nations out and we're gonna get our guy back here to do it salisbury i don't really want anything from you just get out of my face force religion i like the way that sounds let's convert the hre to orthodox guys same thing for these guys we're gonna convert them to our religion cancel alliances and all that schnapples ah and you become orthodox as well give me a war reps as well noise now my troops can come back and we can finally peace out the uh, nation of milano i'm only going to take three provinces from milan in this war because i have a lot of overextension and i don't want to go over 100 again coalition wise literally nobody important once more is joining in not that this coalition is even going to trigger because there you go everybody hates me nobody is brave enough to actually fight against me though we can get new rivals now and we will of course go for the spanish and hell even the timurids why not we can go for them too we were allied to them but nobody cares about those alliances do they we're gonna have to concentrate dev here so we don't go over our overextension limit which we are really struggling with right now still 111 might have taken a little bit too much just a little bit too much it is time for the great war against the spaniards and we're gonna go for cleansing of heresy cobbledrig the portuguese as well as lumpchen and let's go this is gonna be a tough war because we pretty much have the same amount of troops as the enemy side has so it's not gonna be a cakewalk that is faux show sure. we're also fighting this alone so we're extra chads when it comes to it let's try and snipe as many of their fleets as we can snipe before they actually merge their fleets and outnumber ours can we do that here let's get an admiral actually good and we're gonna barrage this so we can take it fast leave 1000 there go to fez we want to take a hold of the north african parts as soon as possible so we can use that as a foothold to go into the Iberian parts afterwards. Their fleets are considerably bigger than ours. They got a lot of cogs though. We have mostly galleys, which are great in inland seas. However, we did win, even though they had a lot of heavies. So that's something. Oh, another battle. Six units. Okay, that's fine. We crushed their six cogs easily. Let's go over to the Straits of Gibraltar. Actually, let's go and uh, park this fleet for now because we need it to recover its strength. We need to win this naval battle here so we can actually 
cross on over the uh, Straits of Gibraltar, and I feel confident about this, unless they get some reinforcements, and they didn't get any reinforcements, there you go, they're already done for. I like, by the way, how the AI, oh, it's a big army there, I should have probably taken care of these guys first. I didn't see them, in my defense, I did not see them. I was gonna say that I like how the AI snaked the coastline so that they uh, do not have to deal with uh, the Moroccans raiding them for a while. That is very big brain, and I've seen a lot of improvements in the 1.3 uh, 1 AI, actually. We're gonna fully annex Lemchen so we don't have to deal with another nation in a coalition against us. Core up everything here as well, and uh, convert the other one whilst we get the admin points, I guess. After we've taken this, we have supremacy over the Gibraltar, and by taking Malaga, we're gonna have a nice mountain fort as our base of operation. I feel like we can peace out the Venetians. I don't want anything from them right now because I did not co them, so I am gonna cancel their alliance with France and Savoy since uh, I don't want to fight those two nations when I'm attacking the uh, Venetians. Maybe some cash as well is fine, I guess. Peace them out, and we'll fight them another day. And meanwhile, let's send these guys over here to make sure that we siege everything properly. We are gonna send these two armies over here into the African part so we can start jumping into the Iberian Peninsula from the south. Stop running away from me, Castile. You're gonna have to fight me eventually. There you go. All right, let's see this fight. Uh, we are at a minus two because it's a mountain fort, but we clearly are still gonna win it. There you go. And let's uh, hop on over to Toledo and Madrid to finish them off once and for all. Same thing here. We're gonna go for the uh, Portuguese parts. One very important aspect to keep in mind whenever you're fighting in the mid to late game battles like these is the fact that your army tradition is going to be extremely important especially if you don't have the amazing pips that the western tech units have keeping it around 80 to 100 army tradition can give you up to plus 25 morale of armies which means that you're going to have insanely great armies like the ones that i have right now also remember that it is very important that you take the choke points early on in wars and that you take the forts early on in wars to get the passive war score increase whilst afterwards you can start carpet sieging the rest of their country. Since I do have both Spain and Portugal as my hostages, I am going to be attacking the Moroccans since it will take a while before I actually peace out these two nations. Also, a small coalition is starting to appear, mostly of insignificant one province miners, which have the biggest bowls in U4, as you guys probably know. Well, the coalition is definitely growing. A few extra nations have joined, including the Timurids and Crimea. Of course, nothing I cannot handle, but it would be a nuisance if it did trigger. You probably notice whenever coalitions trigger that a lot of the small OPMs join in first, like these horrible nations here and the other ones in the HRE. This is why I personally have a no OPM alive policy in my games. Now a truce with the PayPal state is over, we're gonna attack him so we can actually take the province of Rome itself, restore the Roman city to the Roman Empire, boys, because we are, end of the day, as a Roman Empire. Yes, yes, we are, no matter what anybody else says. There you go, killing off these silly, silly PayPal state troops. I'm I'm also attacking the PayPal states so they don't join in the coalition themselves, seeing as uh, the truce just finished with them, and they would join otherwise if I did not attack them. Let's kill off these guys here, Dario Go, pour this up now, and let's uh, bring our troops back here so we can finish off these rebels. Now, you might be wondering, why are you still at war with these people? I have two purposes. I want to completely wreck their economy so it's easy for me to attack them a second time, and I also want them to lose their colonies. Their colonies are already at 60% liberty desire and I win more by piecing them out separately even though I take a little bit of extra aggressive expansion don't really care about it that much there you go now we can uh, also concentrate here booyah and another one in this province we're gonna let their rebels go back to their own country and deal with their own schnitzels and from the Spanish I'm gonna go for this area here in fact I'm gonna take the La Mancha gold mine as probably better than Cordoba all the money canceling the alliance with the Venetians and most importantly I'm canceling their core on Cosenza, as that means I can release and diplo vassal- Oh no. Guys, Naples doesn't exist anymore. The cores are gone, everybody. A complete change of plan, boys. We're gonna take the south part here, because we already have Sicilian rebels, and we are gonna release the nation of Sicily, which has cores on this that we can feed back, as well as the south part here that I was already gonna be taken. I feel like this is fair enough, since I'm gonna be releasing Leon from here. Yep. I feel really good about this peace deal. Let's
let's go and that concludes one stage of this whole situation here the problem now is the fact that if we do peace out the moroccans and we take all their stuff we're gonna be massively overextended. so because of that we're just taking three provinces for the time being so we can also start coring up stuff knock knock who's there it's the roman empire and we want our roman city back hello everybody we're back in business oh my god the coalition is now massive <laughs> hey it's all good though nobody gives a schnitzel about coalitions we're gonna be chilling we have taken enough lands in the span of 15 years <laughs> to be able to chill a little bit for the next few years so let's now release sicily there you go and let's also release the nation of leon which means that we are a little bit over our diplo relation slots but that's not a big deal and we can fix that right now actually we're gonna fix it anyway once we integrate iraq bring our armies from here over to the main italian parts as we are gonna have to fight there and use these guys to kill off the rebels in the um african parts and now we should be able to see the decision of restoring the roman empire as well as it should show us what we need basically all of spain france a little bit of uh england and all of italy not really that much considering we're just in the first hundred years of the game so i know i said we're gonna chill but hear me out easily crush the mamluks because the truce is over it's actually better to attack them before they join in the coalition themselves though but let's go another mamluks war should be a fast one though it's okay it's just a quick war everybody nothing to be worried about meanwhile everybody else that can <laughs> is joining the coalition against them. i won't be taking much in this war for a couple of reasons first off i've actually really been taking way too much in a very short amount of time so because of that i really need to be chilling and catch up with a few things including my national ideas and core up some more of these lands around my economy is also suffering because i've been at war for such a long time and i need to uh, cool it down a little bit whilst my economy catches up well the coalition has not yet triggered and i like taking risks so i am gonna attack the venetians now hopefully this doesn't make the coalition trigger but you never know do ya boy nah ya don't oh look at them leave the coalition them scared little schnitzels eh hey <laughs> hey nobody will even try to fight me because they're scared of my massive armies to be fair i do have more armies than the entirety of the coalition at this point so it wouldn't really make much of a difference if they did trigger that coalition but hey because they cancel that it means i have free reign to do whatever the schnitzel i want boys well would you look at that the austrians have inherited the hungarian throne meaning that's one less nation i need to worry about actually because it's going to be easier for me to just take on the austrians we also finished our truce with these guys so let's go and attack them again let's see who else is allied in this let's go for those guys to finish this war quick so we can uh piece these nations out let's go with this army in the north wall I'm holding on to Venice for a little while. I'm not going to take too many lands in this war, actually, because I likely will vassalize Milan, cancel their cores on me, and uh, feed back the other uh, cores they have on the other nations in the next wars. Vassalizing Milan actually is not the smartest idea because of the amount of aggressive expansion they have with me, so I'm just going to full-on annex them. It's A-OK, -okay, not a massive deal. And when it comes to the Venetians, we're only taking these three provinces in this war, and we're going to take more stuff stuff in the next war however we do have a lot to core up we don't want to go over our overextension too much we already are at 95 and that is enough for the time being since we still have wars to do and we do want to do them let's make the austrians our beloved allies our rivals and for the balkans yeah i guess we could do that there you go in fact i am gonna do a massive brain move and i am gonna release the nation of milano as my vassal why am i doing this i am losing 20 development that i already used the mana points to core up but i don't need to core these two and most importantly a hundred development worth of provinces from my neighbors here and because i fully annex milan i don't get the minus 200 aed buff that i was getting before so overall it is a massive win sir we also can make milan our religion and just placate them a little bit now they're loyal as schnitzel we got our little orthodox Fox champ over here boys 
And it's round two for the Portuguese. We'll be attacking the uh, Spaniards as well once the truce is over. Until that time, we're just going to completely wreck the uh, Portugals. The truce with the Spaniards is over. We're going to attack them once more. And we're going to go for the reconquest of our cores. Should be a fairly easy fight considering they're pretty much dead at this point because of the English attacking them. We can also peace out the uh, nation of Portugal. I think the best thing to take for the Portuguese is just the south parts here. I'm taking all the Moroccan lands. I don't need any of this to form the Roman Empire, but I'm taking it because I'm not just LARPing the Roman Empire, I am also LARPing the historical borders. Now we just gotta wait for the English to finish up with these uh, Castilians here. I guess in the meanwhile, we can just kill off the enemy Papal States armies whilst we're at it, and of course, more nations leaving the coalition because they're scared schnitzelless of us. Oh, Savoy left it. Hello there. Actually, because the Austrians will join in this I'm gonna wait for a while and I will attack however the nation of Toscany so I can get rid of them finally this is gonna give me as much a as you can possibly imagine since Tuscany's got in these two provinces a buttload of development but we do need these provinces so let's just go for that there was Volt boys there was Volt we're getting the Poles in this war as well because of that let's get a few more units in here in that case oh wow the English really took a massive chunk out of the Castilians this is not not okay because I really wanted to take these two provinces so I can start integrating Leon and these are two big ass provinces 28 dev they've improved this 17 times well I guess it's gonna be war with the English next your whole country is absolutely siege down and devastated you already took Corsica and Sardinia but you're landing more troops there what the schnitzel Spain well I'm gonna finish the Spanish war now so I can start integrating some of my vassals I'm gonna take also the province of Granada because why the schnitzel it's all not and that's it for this war we also will finish the Firenze war or Florence war since we pretty much killed all of their allies and have won it only Tuscany is left oh yeah it is Tuscany not Firenze anymore right full annexation and now we can core all of the schnitzel up get a new rival again and we're gonna insult this rival because they smell oh Aragon broke with us them feels well my former ally Aragon has no more truce with me so they are definitely in danger I'm gonna co the Brit as well simply because I want to take some of their lands also so let's go with this war should be a fairly fine war we have way more troops than they ever will have and even if it triggers the other coalition of pretty much everybody around us I'll be happy to show you guys how to deal with that gotta remember in August to declare on the Venetians too I did not forget about the Venetians and I am gonna attack them right now it's gonna bring a few nations to this but it's really not that many nations and I can definitely handle them all I'm happy to see tell you in this because I am gonna fully annex them even if it costs a lot of extra AE I don't care I already have a coalition of the entirety of the world here no more Morocco and we're definitely winning both the Italian fronts and the Hispanic one this video has been dragging on for quite a while so if you guys want to see the final video of the Byzantine saga leave a like once we get if we get that is the like target then we'll release the next video where we definitely will be restoring the Roman Empire also, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. You have a link in the description. And I do have a parallel Byzantine series going on on Twitch. I also want to give a very special thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, as well as my Twitch subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you.